but I'm gonna barely miss it about that much. You don't need any more than that because you can see how it's clinging to the window. If it starts running down, it's, it's moving debris. This is a custom cut rubber smoothie that I've, black smoothie that I've had forever. But I'm gonna get that top edge. I'm gonna get this edge. Now right here is what's cool. Watch how this end rolls up and collects any moisture that's up in there. We've got a little better blade than this. We're fixing to introduce custom cut just like this. It's going to be a real soft prep blade. It is a turbo blade. First of the year, we're going to introduce several different tools. Sort of get over this angle, sort of easy in where they can see this. I'm going to take this and run it down through here. You always want to make sure, it's like you're cutting grass, overlap your strokes. Like you're cutting grass, you overlap your passes. And now that I've got that, that's just part of the, the battle. This is a lint-free rag. I'm going to take it, wrap it around my finger, keep it pulled back. You need to prep all the areas around where you're working to. I've already prepped them one time. I'm just going through the motions now so you can see what we're doing. You do that because, who knows, you, you could trash a piece of film, and film is money and time is money. So when you're putting the film on, if it bumps that or touches it, you know, you're out of piece of film. Now I'm not gonna put any more water on this. And I always spray as I'm peeling. That helps eliminate static. That's about all the material I'm gonna put on there. We'll push it up like this. And I practice what I preach. I say never touch the sticky side. And I like to fold it like this, and I put my big old fat blind head behind this and drop the bottom in first and ease it down. That way you've got room to put the top in and slide it up. Now we're, we're slid in on this one. Now I'm going to take that same squeegee that I had right here. And I'm gonna tack it off. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push about a quarter inch over. I don't drag all this moisture from right here in the middle. Push it up, because when you do it, you can jam it, and it can squirt water up in there and flush out trash, unwanted trash. And that's pushed down. You sort of get the same angle over here. I'm gonna just barely push this. I'm not even trying to put it down. I'm gonna come across the top, same thing. With this custom cut squeegee, it just rolls right up in there. I can remember back in the day that these were the only squeegees we had, but we had one ply film too. And uh, now a lot of folks would look at that and say, hey, that's good enough. It looks pretty good. Get real close right here. See this water blister, this sag right here? This is where you get those micro bubbles all in that thing, especially in the wintertime and your customer says, what's this? And these folks get on these sites and go, I tended this four days ago and it looked great. Now it looks like this. Well, that's the difference between a squeegee and a tractor. Both of them do the same thing. This is a sledgehammer mini. This is my prototype. I built a long time ago. We sell a different version. I'm going to show you what this does. Matter of fact, I'm going to wipe this water back off. I'm going to show you what this thing does. This thing is badass. This one is dry. I'm going to... I'm gonna show you where all them little water blisters come from. This is an industrial blade. It's a sledgehammer. It does what it does. Now, get up here a little closer and they can see this water puddled up here. I wish to bring it all down to the bottom and let you really see how much water was left in that thing after it was squeegeed. And you can see it piled up right there at the bottom. I'm gonna dot this off. Just a big old blister. This is how you Keep your customers happy. Make your jobs look good. It's all about getting the slip solution and the water out from behind the film and between the glass and the film. And that's it. Show them on the outside what that thing looks like because there's no gaps in here. There's no trash. There's no water blisters. That's how it's supposed to look every job, every day, every time.